Uh, my name is Alex Ellery. I'm a professor at Carleton University, uh, Canada Research Chair in the Department of Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering. And this is behind me is my group, the Space, Space Engineering Exploration Group. Uh, we've been developing a planetary rover prototype platform called CATVIC. So CATVIC is uh, basically a development platform, a prototype for a Mars rover, uh, particularly a Mars micro rover. Um, essentially, uh, the Canadian Space Agency is interested in exploring uh, the uh, capabilities of micro rovers as opposed to the larger rovers and more expensive rovers which are being sent to Mars by the Americans and uh, the Europeans. CAFI was essentially designed from the ground up. Uh, basically, uh, it capitalized a lot of my experiences uh, on, in rovers and rover designs. Uh, so, as opposed to being retrofitted, uh, this is designed specifically for Mars environments. Uh, the chassis, which, you, which is behind us, um, is based on an American design called the Rocker Bogey Mechanism. It's a six-wheeled uh, mechanism which does not employ springs. So the suspension, uh, the reliance on springs means that when it's on board a spacecraft on, on its way to Mars, for instance, for nine months, the springs aren't in compression for the whole period, so we don't use springs for that reason. Uh, it's a very ingenious design. Um, we have developed it a little bit further by including instrumentation, uh, essentially force or load sensors above each wheel hub. This will enable us to take measurements as we're on the move uh, and thereby apply traction control by throttling the vehicle according to the terrain it's going over. Uh, so this is a, a, um, an innovative uh, uh, approach that we have developed here. The, uh, the six-wheel rocker bogey mechanism has, has demonstrated, uh, has legacy. It's flown on several mission, American missions before, Sojourner in the mid-1990s and currently on the Mars Exploration Rovers uh, um, Opportunity and Spirit. Um, so it, it already has legacy. Our responsibilities uh, are for the traction, the, the, the locomotion system, uh, which you see behind us, and also onboard navigation and vision processing as well. So we essentially are providing the core technologies that make planetary rover vehicles possible. The application environments have morphed continuously throughout the pro project. Uh, originally, uh, the idea was that this would be a, an analog uh, rover to operate in Earth environments, uh, essentially things like Northern Territories and so on. Uh, so it can be used on Earth and, we, and this indeed is the testing environment that we use. Um, but it's not specifically designed for a particular planetary surface, but Mars and the Moon are the two obvious applications. The project as a whole is, is overseen and administered by uh, MPB Communications in Montreal. Uh, they are the prime contractor. Uh, however, we are the core, the core engineering team. Uh, we are working with a number of other partners, uh, in specifically um, MDA uh, in Brampton, are working on a tether system to be attached to the rover. Um, Ryerson University developed a robotic arm to be mounted onto the rover and that's already been delivered, uh, that's already ready. Uh, um, Xiphos are responsible for partly for the onboard computing platforms which will be integrated into the avionics. Um, UTIAS, the uh, University of Toronto, they're responsible for the onboard power system and that will be integrated also at a later date. So that's the team.